It feels like it's not really an episode of objectivity until I say to Keith, Keith, what's in the box? With this time I get to say it, Brady, this is your turn, what's in the box? What's in the box? Mm. Let us all together see what's in it. Oh, wow. This is a microscope, it's a field microscope, so it's something that you would carry around with you in a box if you're a naturalist or a physician, and you could use it and assemble it in the field to, to look at anything that you wanted to. Like a portable microscope? Portable microscope, absolutely. Let's have a look at some of these bits. Have a look, yeah. Well, that looks like the main body, doesn't it? Look at that. Yeah. Oh, wow. It still works. <laughs> it yeah, works, that, that's yeah. a great thing about things like I this. Can, yeah, that's really cool. Okay. Mind oh, your wow. These are like little slides, and yeah. I can see it looks like the wings of insects and things like that. When you bought a microscope in the 18th or early 19th century, quite often you would get made up slides of classic images like the flea, which of course is an Hooke's micrograph here, and they were just to, to get you started. We have a, a couple of boxed microscope sets like this. This one's provenance is quite interesting because it um, allegedly be belonged to Henry Baker, who's one of the great microscopists of the 18th century. It seems a little bit late for, for Baker, but that's what we're told in the provenance records. So you think maybe they're saying this microscope belonged to a bit of a microscope hero just to make it sound better? It is. He, he wrote several classic 18th century books on the microscope. Okay. Do you know where to start? Do you yeah. know how to... Well, it's kind of obvious because the box is actually the base of the microscope. So you can see straight away that what happens is you just screw your microscope onto the box. So this is the, the as you correctly said, the business end. So now you kind of almost got a microscope. A lot of the lenses are, are just different magnifications, so you can swap them on the barrel of the microscope, mm -hmm. depending upon what you're looking at. I'm guessing this is kind of the, the platform, the main observation. Yeah, it's a stage. So uh, what you've got here, let me just take that out, is a stage where you can either slide your microscope slides, or if you're viewing something which is uh, in water, you can just place your glass on top with a drop of water in it and view that under the microscope. Huh. It's that simple. It's really that simple. So uh, what else do you need? You need light. Yeah, we need our mirror. We're happily by a window here, so um, this might even work. Okay, where does this go? Well, let's find a slot for oh, it on there. the bottom. Down the very bottom there? Yeah. There we go. So you've effectively now got a pretty much a working microscope. Should we put something in it, or are we yeah, not there? Yeah, let's, let's, let's do that. Okay. And if you look through the top and, and make the right adjustment with the mirror, it's quite fiddly. Oh, yeah. Hang on. I can see it. I can see it moving around. It does seem fiddly if it was a windy day out on an English mountain or something like that. It's fiddly, oh, at but at the same time, it's, it's, it's getting used to, to using it, and you, you would pretty quickly be able to do that. I love it. Scientists like Anthony van Leeuwenhoek uh, used single lens instruments uh, and this is a, a single lens microscope. So okay. these rather interesting pins here are to mount your specimen. So you can see what's happening. You have a, a single lens and a pin where you can put your specimen. So I'd put a little bug on there Yeah. and then I'd go... Exactly right. <laughs> Simple as that. So you have made an 18th century microscope. It's very sort of Ikea, this, isn't it? Yeah. I asked what was in the box. I got my answer. Two microscopes. Okay, everyone, you know I keep saying, you can come to the Royal Society, you can see these things yourself. I have more proof. Here's Nico from Barcelona. He just walked in at lunchtime and said, I've seen objectivity, I want to see stuff. He came with a list of three things he wanted to see. And now Keith has to go to the library and get them out for him. Yep. Nico, good to see it. Look at that, white gloves. Yep. You having a good time? Yes, very much, thanks. You've been watching us filming, what do you think? Yeah, uh, it was all in one take. That's all one take. See. Are you impressed by our professionalism? Yes. <laughs> yeah. I'm very not good. paying him, I'm not paying him for this. So there's a huge index in the front here. Yeah, family tree. Yep. Yeah. Newspaper articles, brochures, buildings and houses associated with him. Priestley's laboratory, wow.